Many of us have seen the CSI crime scene investigation TV shows, and there's no doubt that this series and its offshoots have highlighted and glamorised the digital forensics industry somewhat. The terms computer or digital forensics basically describe the science of finding and analysing digital data from computers and all types of storage media, generally to form part of a legal case. Since the evidence often has to stand up in court, it has to be collected, logged, analysed, presented and dealt with in very particular ways. One of the most important aspects of this being the accurate collection of evidence and the chain of custody from the crime scene through to the court. There are many sub-branches or specialities of digital forensics, which include mobile device forensics, database forensics, firewall and data switch or router forensics, and of course, network forensics. In essence, there are five main parts to the digital forensics process. Preparation, data collection, examination, analysis, and then reporting. Any computer forensics investigator needs to be fully and properly trained to carry out the specific tasks required. The main goal of computer forensics is to trace and explain what is known as a digital artifact. This can be a whole system, an individual storage medium, or an electronic document such as an email or image. It could even be the digital remnants of the movement of data, building an audit trail of what went where and when. Many crimes are solved these days by an offender unwittingly leaving a digital footprint somewhere down the line. There are documented cases of serial killers actually being found because of a snippet of information found in an email trail. Other areas where computer forensics contribute are legal cases, both criminal and civil, specialised data recovery where the media has failed or been damaged, and evidence gathering for employment termination, even analysis following a hack attack to determine what went wrong. There are a number of specialised certifications that cover these topics, but many require a considerable level of background IT experience before the actual certification is conferred. The CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker, and CHFI, Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator, are mid to high level certifications offered through the EC Council. The CEH, or Certified Ethical Hacker Certification, requires two years of experience in the information security field, and there's also a prerequisite of the ENSA qualification, the EC Council Network Security Administrator. As such, these programmes are certainly not for the new IT career changer, although they could be studied purely for the knowledge with the understanding that experience will be required to complete the certification. It should be stressed though that these are really not starter programmes. The EC Council also recommends completion of the CEH before attempting the CHFI. Following this, the ECSA Security Analyst Programme will add the other required area to elevate yourself towards the celebrated LPT, or Licensed Penetration Tester, probably one of the most prestigious security certifications available anywhere in the world. In effect, a very thorough security and anti-penetration based certification track would start with the CompTIA A+, Network+, and Security+, and probably involve some Microsoft server program like the MCITP Server 2008 Administrator, and then progress onto the EC Council ENSA. If you already had a few years of real world network security experience, then you could probably jump straight into the ENSA. Following these certifications, the CompTIA Linux Plus will be advisable before attempting the Certified Ethical Hacker, and then the ECSA LPT program would put the cherry on top. Now, bear in mind that all these certifications would require an extended timeline of at least five years and a lot of on-the-job experience. To give you an idea of the weight of these qualifications, many US military and intelligence community security positions require the CEH as a prerequisite and advise study of the ECSA LPT. The CISSP or Certified Information Systems Security Professional is another mid-level certification offered via the ISC. 
Achieving certification requires proving four to five years in the information security field, although you can register for the associate level immediately. This means that studying for the CIWSP can start much earlier, and since our CIWSP programmes cover the CompTIA Security Plus syllabus, the CompTIA certification can be taken immediately, allowing access into the security field where experience can start to be gained. If a student is new to the field of IT, then you undoubtedly want to preface this certification with the CompTIA A Plus and Network Plus to ensure a full understanding of basic networking prior to taking the Security Plus and then moving on to the CIWSP. For those that are new career changes to IT but want to move towards security, ethical hacking or forensics, we recommend the CompTIA A Plus and Network Plus with either the CompTIA Security Plus or the EC Council Security 5 Starter Qualification. These could also be linked to an MCITP Server 2008 programme to help with job placement. You really do need to talk to a professional advisor in this area though as it's far more complex than others. Why not download our free information pack and IT certification ebook today? Just click on any one of the free guide buttons on our website.